little different story in the weather. Yeah, yes. down in Florida, everybody, we are all watching Hurricane Dorian. And you know, our own Chuck Lofton yes, is headed there way. first thing tomorrow mm -hmm. morning to help out our sister station down there and to file some reports for us on Dorian, ever-changing Dorian, yes. mm -hmm. in terms of strength and track. So the track of it now, it seems to be now moving a little further up the coast and yes. not a direct hit in Miami it that may we not, actually thought. Right, it may actually go a little farther north and kind of ride up the coast, okay. and that's what we're seeing kind of with future track 13. Mm -hmm. And there still may be some changes between now and when mm -hmm. and if it makes landfall early next week. The slow movement of Dorian, the increased strength, making it very complicated to figure out exactly what Dorian is going to do. Even if it doesn't make a direct landfall, it will have big implications from South Florida all the way through North Florida, again, because of the slow movement. Actually may stall just off the coast before it starts to make that turn to the north as we head into Monday, Tuesday, and then we think by Wednesday, it's actually going to be up close to Jacksonville. Let's come back close to home where we had a pop-up shower and thunderstorm earlier today and still keeping a close eye on a cluster of rain that's near St. Louis. If this would hold together, it would bring us a few spotty showers first thing tomorrow with the clouds overhead made for a stunning sunset. This was sent to us from Julie in Monticello on Lake Freeman. Just fantastic this evening. We may get a spotty shower or storm first thing tomorrow. That would last through maybe early afternoon before we start to clear out. Temperatures right now in the upper 60s and low 70s. 71 in Indianapolis, already down to 63 in Kokomo. If you're headed to Lucas Oil Stadium, IU and Ball State, they kick off at noon. Temperatures in the 70s. Can't rule out a spotty shower or storm early half of tomorrow. Then we get some dry hours tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. May see some additional spotty storms, especially across the northern part of the state as we head into Sunday. But right now, forecasting a dry and warm Labor Day. So definitely not a washout and don't cancel any holiday plans. Lots of dry time in this forecast despite those storm chances. Warm tomorrow, 84. Chance for a few storms again on Sunday, 83. Labor Day looks dry, 84. Dry Tuesday before another chance for rain on Wednesday. Remember, stay with us. Chuck will have the latest for you live from Florida as we get those reports on Hurricane Dorian.